Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. We finally have a foundation review for you guys today. Before we jump into the video, I'm gonna do my post notification shout out, which I haven't done in so long because I've just been posting vlogs these days. But today's one's gonna to go to Priya P. So thank you so much for hitting that bell button. I really appreciate it. And if you guys wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Obviously, as you can tell from the title, we will be reviewing the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin foundation I have it right here now I've actually worn it a couple of times I even wore, wore it to work I'm going back into the office now and I wore it all day yesterday and another day when I went out and I'm just gonna give you my thoughts I'm gonna apply it for you guys on the Charlotte Tilbury website it says that the foundation gives everyone's skin that looks beautifully hydrated plumper smoother and brighter it's got medium coverage it's hydrating and it gives an instant glow buildable has long-term skincare benefits as well so it's got brightening rose complex and hydrating hyaluronic acid to improve the look of your skin with each wear which is amazing i definitely need that because my skin's at its worst i'm telling you guys so yeah overall it's a medium coverage foundation that gives long-term skincare benefits and a glow and I got, I picked up the shade 9 Neutral, which I think is the perfect shade for me. I'm going to show you. I've started with two pumps and I'm, you can see it's like a thicker texture. And I'm just going to, ah, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> I didn't even put moisturizer on. Now I am wearing primer. I just feel like I, I do wear it all the time now because wearing a mask just ends up taking my makeup off and I just feel like a primer just helps and the my favorite one at the moment is the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer because it gives me like e that extra quench to my skin because it's so dry now I can apply the foundation can you see how like good of a match that is I'm going to use like a flat kabuki style brush this one's from Bobbi Brown, it's the full coverage face brush and I'm just going to buff this in. Do you know I do feel like a neutral shade does suit me better because when it's too pink it doesn't go, when it's too orange or yellow it doesn't go. Like I can get away with a yellow foundation but for example my Armani Luminous Silk, oh my god where is that foundation? I don't even know, I haven't used it in so long. But that one is more on the neutral side and it really like matched me. Oh my god guys look at this. Basically this portion of my face where I put a mask is breaking out like crazy. I'm following my skincare routine, I'm drinking a lot of water. And it's just not happening guys. I get like white spots everywhere and then they scar up. I definitely agree that it's buildable because you can see some of my scarring and pigmentation there. So I do put a little bit there. It does work really well with a beauty blender. I just don't have one right now. But so yeah, that's what it looks like guys. Here's just a close up. I feel like this is definitely going to be another favourite of mine. I just love how well it matches my skin tone and the way it sits on my skin. Now, I wouldn't say it's the most long wearing foundation. Like it does, especially with a mask, it does come off in certain areas. But to be honest, I'm experiencing that with most of my foundation. And on a daily basis, I don't want to go through like the whole process of like powdering like crazy and setting with like a proper fixing setting spray that makes my face feel stiff. Like I just want to put foundation, concealer and get out like so I don't mind a bit of fading but overall like when I came home yesterday like I literally wore it at 6am, got back at 6.30pm, was still on my face and it looked pretty good so yeah I'm gonna wear the, I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day to show you guys so let me do my makeup and I'll be right back. That's my makeup done and yeah I just love my makeup like this guys it's so good i'm really glad that i got to try it a few times before doing this review you can just play around with this foundation it's really easy to use it's, it blends really easily there's a lot of shades for it so i do appreciate that like i, I feel like i could have chosen out three shades but 9n was like perfect for me you get 30 ml of product which is standard and i roughly used two pumps two pumps and a half on my face sometimes what i like to do is blend it with a brush and then just go over with a damp beauty blender just to like 
set into my skin one thing that you do have to remember is that it, it, it doesn't dry down like it's a hydrating glowy foundation and most of the times these foundations do feel a bit tacky on the skin um but that's because i don't like setting my whole face if you're someone that likes to powder your whole face then that will just set it right in place but yeah yesterday i was taking my mask on and off on and off on and off and i was wearing it for over like 12 hours hours on the train and the only places where it came off a lot was on my nose and a bit around my mouth but the rest looked pretty good pretty smooth no dry patches which is like key to me if i start seeing dry patches on my skin like it's a straight no for the foundation so it's definitely hydrating it gives like a subtle glow i haven't put any like highlighter or anything i've only got good things to say like i don't I would definitely recommend this product like it's trending for a reason like, it's really good i love it um I'm, I'm glad i've discovered a new product like it's right up there with my nars tinted moisturizer and my what else do i love dior backstage foundation my fenty ease drop skin tint and yeah it's definitely medium buildable coverage because i have a lot of scars on my on my cheeks especially and they're like 80-90% covered. It's now 8.46am, I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day and check back in with you guys later so you guys can see how it looks. Alright guys, it's now 5.40pm, just about 8 hours of wear and I feel like it's still got a long way to go, like it's, it looks pretty good. Obviously I haven't worn a mask but you can still, you can see some of my scarring coming through. It always comes off my nose. It does gather a little bit here i've noticed but i'm not too bothered by it you can't really tell unless you like come proper up close to my I'll show you guys a close up can you see the gathering i've got an angry spot so ignore that So yeah, overall, I really like it, guys. Definitely a 9 out of 10 for me. It's definitely one I will reach out for and repurchase. I really do want to try that NARS Illuminating Foundation that's coming out. It hasn't launched in the UK. I want to try Rare Beauty as well. Let me know if you want me to try that. And yeah, I hope you guys found this review helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up so it can reach out to more people. Subscribe so you can join the family. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!